Hello YouTubers, I'm about to tell you everything about the recovery mode that you need to know. Well, first of all, you need to have a PSP with a custom firmware. Well, what's a custom firmware? Well, go to system settings, system information, and you will by system software you see the firmware that you have. Well, by mine is 3.71 M33 Well, if you have nothing behind the numbers, you don't have a custom firmware. You have a normal firmware. You need to have a custom firmware to exit recovery mode. Well, not closing this. Well, to enter recovery mode, just Press R and hold the power trigger. Boot the PSP. When it's completely off, again hold the R trigger and reboot. With a custom firmware, you will now get a recovery modus. Well, let's see if I can make it. Well, you cannot see it very well, so. Yeah. Wait a minute. Well, you have, and the first option is to toggle USB. Well, what's a toggle USB? If you toggle USB, you will just go to USB mode, the normal USB mode. But you don't have to go to the XMB menu, the menu which you normally get when you start the PSP. So it's just UMD mode. Well, configuration. If you press X, you will get a lot of stuff. You can go back to exit it. You can skip Sony logo. The Sony logo is when you uh, when you activate the PSP, you will get Sony Computer Entertainment presents. Uh, so that's a little video. So that will skip it. Also, the game boot will be skipped if you enable this. But I disabled it. To enable or disable it, just press X. And it's enabled, so it will now skip Sony logo, but I like the Sony logo. Disabled. Well, hide corrupt icons. Well, if you have icons uh, on your PSP that the PSP cannot uh, road, you will get corrupt icon. Well, if you don't like corrupt icon, well, you can enable this, but I like to know what I have. Well, the game folder, homebrew kernel, is the kernels that you use by the game. If uh, some uh, home, some yeah, official games need 3.71 kernel, uh, or yeah, so a little bit lower than that, or everything more. Home race need a 1.50 kernel. To change this, just press X. Oh wait, configuration. Just press X while you're in that. So it's now 3.71. Well, if it's a depend on what uh, custom firmware you have, which kernel you have. But normally you have the 1.5 kernel and 3.xx kernel. Well, auto run program at PSP game boot slash eboot pbp currently disables. Well, that's just, uh, well, you can easily annoy it. It's just how the program wants. Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, this program wants one program at PSP game recovery even PP. Well, if you broke, if you bricked your PSP, and you go to toggle USB, and you go to PSP game, and uh, you will make that folder recovery, and put there even PP, it will launch it. Well, I don't have uh, even PP right now in the recovery uh, game folder, so if I press now X the PlayStation will crash or sets itself out so I'm done uh, doing this that's why I disabled this and UMD mode is normal UMD required well it's the UMD mode you want to have so how it would, how the PSP must read your UMD well the free region uh, well if you are if you buy UMD in China, it will not work. But when you go to fake region, 
and a uh, free region and you enable that you will can play games from Russia and China and Europe or America so it's just if you want to buy UMD somewhere else you can still play them but that's the same what this thing does and hard reset on homebrew well if you reset homebrew um, yes you can it can start again from the point where you are or it can totally reset or it can have a hard reset so it's just the kind of reset your home bay must have if you push reset well use the VSH menu well a VSH menu is uh, when you are on your PSP if you enable this and you are on your X and B menu and you press select we have some kind of options but I disabled it because I have a recovery LE 4G plugin which I'm about to show you so well the XMB USB device well if you go to XMB USB you will have now left when you go on USB you will have the memory stick you can so the normal USB mode you will get the memory stick you can also have other ones and to change them just press X well now you have the configuration well this program never run it unless you want to upgrade your PSP and you have an eboot file in your PSP game recovery file. Now advanced if you press X you will get this we have, well um, toggle USB flash 1 uh, flash 0 well if you go to this uh, the PSP will go to USB mode and you will be able to access flash 0 on your computer well what can you do by flash 0? well it shows you everything that's on your PSP so the programs it's uh, loading you can change them so that's how people uh, get the XMB waves but never mess around with Toggle USB Flash one, 0 or Flash 1 or Flash 3 unless you know what you are doing well if you break your PSP sometimes all you need to do is format Flash 1 and reset settings to press X but only do this when you break your PSP or you want to reset the settings but never go to flash uh, to the toggle USB flashes if you do not know what you are doing so you can break your PSP I'm not going back well the CPU speed well the speed that your PSP is uh, running the programs I'll uh, just do the normal speed <coughs> I never have problems with the normal speed well, when you think your PSP is too slow, just change the speed. Well, I'm now going back. <clears throat> What's that? Oh yeah, plugins. Well, when you are in USB mode and you have a map folder called SE plugins, and you plug um, programs in it with the VSH text, VSH text. Um, MP as a road, something like that. And you will, well, this just registers the plugins you have on your PSP. Well, you can see here I have a recovery LE 4G plugin, it's called the Recovery Per X. On the file, I can apply this menu in the file SH and in the game. I'll both enable this. Well, you only need this to do when you are making a if you install the program that needs to have that needs to use the recovery and <coughs> registry X well if you don't like to press enter with X you can change it and FM VMA plugger and activate flash play well that's the logic well, you now know the recovery mode, just exit it and you will go back to your PSP. Never shut down the power from the recovery.